I'm Chef Yankel. This is Wild Caught Sable Fish from Bristol Bay, Alaska. I'm gonna show you how to make it perfectly. Keep watching. <music> Folks, this is exciting. We are introducing from ButcherBox Wild Caught Alaskan Sable Fish. Now, what's really special about this fish is it shares all of the same healthy oil qualities that you find in wild caught salmon. It's just a little bit easier to cook because it's got a nice meaty texture and it's so simple to pan sear. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a beautiful wine sauce that you can do in 10 minutes or less. So to get started, I'm gonna preheat my pan. I want it extremely hot because I wanna crisp up this beautiful skin and I want a quick sear. Now, one of the keys to cooking the sable fish so that it doesn't overcook at all is getting that really hot sear at the beginning and then a gentle poach at the end. A lot of our products you can cook from frozen. This one I recommend defrosting. It really doesn't take much time to defrost. You can do it with cold running water in just a few minutes or you can leave it in the fridge overnight. If you do want to cook it from frozen, I recommend poaching it entirely because there's always going to be a little bit of extra water content that happens when you defrost. So that'll affect the sear a little bit. All right, just simple salt and pepper on the skin and I'm using a nice coarse salt and some fresh ground black pepper. Just gonna hit the skin side first. We're gonna go right into our smoking hot pan. When you see the smoke coming off the oil, you know the pan is hot enough. In, gently. Now what I wanna make sure happens is that I get a good hard sear on the skin and so I'm gonna press down just gently on the fish to ensure that contact. And you'll hear the skin crisp and bubble a little bit as you press down. We're just making sure it's super crispy and we get that beautiful presentation. We're gonna sear it skin side down for roughly two minutes before we start adding any additional ingredients. And what we're looking for right along the edges is a little bit of that brown crispiness starting to happen. You'll see a crust start to grow and we wanna let that crust grow about a quarter of an inch up. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare a lemon for a little fresh squeezed lemon juice that'll go into our sauce at the end. And I've got some fresh herbs ready to go. Let's check on our fish. Now it cooks fairly quickly. So before I flip it over, I'm gonna poach it a little bit with wine and baste it a little bit with butter. So I'm gonna start with the butter first because I don't wanna disturb the heat in the pan yet. I just wanna add a little bit of fat and flavor. Butter is a terrific transmitter of flavor from herbs into protein. So we're gonna add a little bit of that whole butter. Just a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme and you can substitute whatever herbs you have around. You can add dried spices as well. And now for the basting part, I'm gonna move the fish to the top of the pan. Wait till that butter starts to foam and then just tilt the pan towards myself and spoon it over. And by doing this, I'm actually cooking the fish from top and bottom simultaneously. The heat of the butter is gonna cook the fish from the top. The pan continues to give me a really nice sear from the bottom and we're creating what is going to be an absolutely magical brown butter sauce while we do it. That is beautiful. Time to add some more ingredients. So we're gonna go with just a little squeeze of lemon, a little splash of wine, and we're gonna flip our fish over. That is a gorgeous sear. I'd be proud of myself if I had to do this every day, all the time, which I have done. Cooking fish gets easier and easier the more you do it, and the more and more you do it, the more you enjoy it because you can re-perfect your method every single time. Now, how do we know it's done? So, similar to a steak, you're looking for a texture that feels like a medium rare. A little bit of firmness, a little bit of give, and then on this fish, it kind of tells you exactly when it's done because you're gonna to start to see that separation in the meat. And that really means that you're basically fully cooked through. We'll let it finish on a pan out of the heat and we'll make our sauce. Easy does it. All right, now for our sauce. So the first thing I wanna do is actually pour out some of that brown butter, wine, lemon mixture. Just leave a little bit in the bottom for flavor. Definitely use that to drizzle on afterwards, or that can be your sauce. But I'm gonna show you a, a simple wine and lemon butter sauce that you can make easily in the pan using a little bit of that extra flavor that's sitting there. So a splash of wine, and we're just gonna let that reduce a tad. So we're gonna bring it up to temp, let it bubble for about 30 seconds, and then finish off that sauce. I can simultaneously add a squeeze of lemon, some fresh parsley, 
save a little bit for the end. As soon as I start to see nice big bubbles in the wine, I'm ready to add my butter. And I'm gonna add cold butter. It's called mounting for a sauce. And basically it allows the two temperatures to meet in the middle and you get a nice creamy sauce out of it. That looks perfect. Time to add our butter. So I'm actually just gonna turn the heat off entirely. I've got some cold butter standing by. Don't need too much, maybe an ounce or so. A Little bit more fresh herbs. We wanna add a little bit of seasoning to our sauce. And now we just stir it all together. You can use a spoon, you can use the swirl method, you can do a combination of both. The idea is that you have those two temperatures meeting somewhere in the middle in what is gonna be a very, very semi-permanent emulsification. And by semi-permanent, I mean it just lasts a few minutes, so this is the last thing you wanna do right before you're ready to plate and eat. Oh, that looks wonderful. I gotta taste it. Ah, the fish is so good. Time to plate, our sauce is done. Our fish is ready, nicely rested, crispy, crispy skin. We're gonna go right into the center there. And now for our sauce. Right in there. That's it. That is the perfect sable fish. Easy to cook, get a nice crispy sear on it, baste it a little bit, add a little bit of flavor, and you are good to go. You know I can't resist tasting it. That might be the best piece of fish I've ever tasted. Crispy exterior, such juicy melt in your mouth flavor, and the wine and the lemon are just boosters for what is really a magnificent piece of fish. I'm Chef Yankel. Challenge yourself to do something new. Go cook something delicious. I'll see you next time.